Hey guys, this is DB126 here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Y2. In the last phase, well, we went through the sewers, and we've also defeated Team Plasma along with our rival, Tommy. So today, we are going to be challenging the Castellia Gym, but before doing that, we're going to be doing a little bit more training here in the Relic Passage. Anyway, there's an item right here you can pick up, which is an escape rope. Um, well first let me spray a repel because I was because I was doing I was doing some training. Um here here was the training that I did. Um as you guys know everyone is at level 19 right now, just like they were at, in the last phase. And um Um if you don't know who has the experience share, it's actually uh Ryu. I got it off of Gatorade and I might use Gatorade like until it gets a way better move rather than um, until it gets a better move than Sand Tomb. So I really need to get get a better move than that. Anyway, let's go up here and we got a hiker, I think it is, or no, it's a like a backpacker sort of thing, and we're gonna take him down with. Probably one razor shell from Shell Blade. And her deer, that should go down easily with Ryu, I think. Or, wait. Oh, should I go to Bolt? Uh, nah, I'll stay in there. I'm not gonna go to Ryu, cause, um, cause he has the experience share. It gets a defense drop from that razor shell. Don't care if you work up. Let me just go for a water gun and that's gonna take you out. Woo! Shellblade gets a ton of experience points right there. Oh, I'm gonna walk slow because I only have two repels left. Dead end right there. I'm gonna go in my bike. I think. So you can go up here. So that's our last repel. Let's go down here, and before be doing this trainer right here, I'll keep Shell Blade. Um, and, um, oh, and also, guys, um, if I run out of repels, I'll just defeat all the wild Pokemon here, because I really need to get some training because I need to I actually wanted to train my whole team up to level 19 to level 21 I think it was but anyway we're just gonna take this thing this venipede down with what how the heck do we miss how the heck do we miss a razor shell I don't care if you screech me Hoping it doesn't use any physical move on me or else I'm done. Yeah, Shell Blade finally gets to level up in Fury Cutter. Yeah, sure thing, we are gonna learn this. Think it's way better than Tail Whip. Never really seen myself using that at all. And we now have Fury Cutter, which is a move that covers our weaknesses. And Ryu is also at level 20. Really cool. And a coughing. I'm gonna go into. Um. Well, let's go to Bolt. Pretty sure Bolt can use a shock wave on this coughing. Oh, Bolt. You're really not. Oh, you're not close to getting a level up. So I think I should give the experience share to Bolt instead of Ryu. Whoa! We got a crit with shock wave right there. So I think I'm now going to give the, the experience share to Bolt, maybe. So first things first, we're going to get that experience share off of Bolt. And I think I will instead give the leftover, the lefties to Gatorade or Ryu. I'm not sure yet. Well, we're just going to give him that experience share. And I think I'll put Gatorade up front. I guess. I'm just gonna walk slowly. 
once again, because there's an item you can pick up right here, which is a hard stone, which powers up any rock type moves you have. And there is also some, actually, three new Pokemon you can find here in the Relic Passage. Um, the first one being Roggenrola, which is a really good defensive rock type, which um, is pretty much like this generation's Geodude, if you know what I'm saying. It does pretty much have the same stats, has a lot of attacking power, um, with pretty decent special attack, and it is pretty slow. Um, the other new Pokemon you can find there in the Relic Passage is Onix, which a lot of you know about Onix. Um, they are really defensive, and they also have pretty decent speed also. And let me just defeat this Rattata right here, just for the heck of it. Let me get an Intimidate off. Um, let's go for Bite, I guess. Try to flinch it. Yeah! Get some flinch axe. It's actually the first time I've used Gatorade, but until it gets to level 29, it will evolve, actually. So, I think we're now ready to take on the gym, because we still have time, and it's Iris again. Your friend. He seemed, he seemed pretty mad. Did everything go okay in the sewers? So what are you going to do now? You ran into Gym Leader Berg in the sewers, didn't you? Maybe you should go to, to the Pokemon Gym and see how far you've come. I'm sure battling will help your Pokemon come to understand you better as a trainer too. Okay, so I think we're ready to take on the Gym. So let's just heal ourselves real quick and I think we're going to get get ourselves ready for the Gym. So let's just heal ourselves up. And for the gym, I really don't have anything that is good against the gym. Because we're going to be seeing a lot of Suwaddles in there. Um, and I, of, cor of course, I have no fire flying types, which would be good against... Um, which, we which would be good types against them, since they're both bug and grass type. But anyway, I'm just going to buy some super potions. I'm going to buy about... Three, maybe. Let's just go down. And we're now ready for the gym. Which is right here. So, let's go inside this bug type gym. Has really amazing music, and oh, it's spider webs. Oh, what's happening? What is happening? Oh my god. Just look at these webs. It just reminds me so much of Spider Man when looking at it. I think we're gonna swing on one, then we will eventually be Spider Man if, if we swing on a web in this gym. What do you think? This Pokemon gym, how should I say, isn't it full of outrageous and mysterious charms? No, it is full of spider webs, and I like them. Because I did watch all the Spider-Man movies, and they are cool. They are really cool. Okay, so here's what I was talking about, the Suwaddle. I know Gatorade will have a hard time with this thing. I'm afraid that it will... Uh, um, you, um, I'm afraid that they'll use a Razor Leaf on Gatorade, and Gatorade, um, it does actually have pretty decent defense. And it went for String Shot right there, but good thing it didn't use any Grass-type moves. Um, that won't go for me first. Um, because it doesn't have anything that's super effective against itself. So I'm just gonna go for Quick Attack. Razor Leaf. You know what? I think we're gonna counter. I think. See what it's see what it's gonna do. Yeah! Like I've said, bug bite. Look how much that did. So let's go for counter, which will What? Really? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Counter only does like one damage. So we're just going to keep on spamming this thing out of quick attacks. And we're going to 
finish this thing off with the horse palm. And there we go. So now it's another suwaddle. Let's see how, um, uh, let's go to Bolt, I guess. And then we're gonna try to use Swift on it. So let's go for the Swift. And we're gonna see how it's gonna do. It does a decent amount. Oh! Survive that like a boss. Uh, let's go for Swift again, because Shockwave isn't really effective. Or you know what, I'll just go for Shockwave right here. And it's not very effective, I know. Oh! And one more Shockwave, I believe, will do this. And there we go. That takes care of the sea waddles. You know what, I think I'll give the experience share to Gatorade instead. So we're just gonna take that experience share out and we're just gonna give it to Gatorade instead. Because Gatorade is close to getting a level up. Anyway, let's go up here. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh, that scared me. That just scared me. I thought a spider would come and attack me. <laughs> ah. Because that just scared the heck out of me. But anyway, this guy right here has a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Combi, which is a bug and flying type. And it is weak against electric type moves. So let's use a super potion. Sweet scent. What a useless move. But anyway, let's go for Shockwave. And we're gonna see how much this will do. Yeah! And that takes out the Combi. And Gatorade gets a level up. And a Swadloon. Ah, uh, we're gonna keep Bolt. If Bolt can't do good, then any good, then I'll just go to Ryu. We're just gonna go for Swift. And really, are you kidding me? Do you have to use Protect? You jerk. Let's go for Swift. Ah! Why do you have to use Protect over and over again? Okay, good. Good, you didn't use Protect. Um, let's just go for Shockwave, see how much it's gonna do. Or, you know what, I think I'll just switch to Ryu, I guess. Because Bolt really isn't doing that much, that good against this Swadloon. Bug Bite really isn't going to do anything. It does, like, one damage. Uh, let's go for me first. See if it's going to go for Bug Bite. Yeah! 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 I just can't believe it. It used Bug Bite right there. So that was good I used me first. Let's go up here. Um, well first let me take the experience share off of Bolt. And, oh wait. I actually have it on Gatorade. So, um, let's get this the Mystic Water off of Shellblade, and I think we're gonna be giving him the experience share instead. 
And we're just gonna put Ryu up front, maybe. And we're almost up to the gym leader. Now I'm hoping this guy has, um, okay, a Suwaddle. Hoping that it uses Bug Bite. Because if I see it using Bug Bite one time, then I'll go for me first, and then I'll, s uh, then I'll go for me first. Razor Leaf, um, Suwaddle resist, quad resist that from being both Bug and Grass type. If you guys don't know that. Go for Quick Attack. Alright, so I think I'll just go for me first to see what it's going to do. Come on, use Bug Bite. Oh! Oh, but that takes it out. Really cool. And a Combi. Um, I will switch to... Bolt. Because Bolt has Shockwave, which will be super effective. Go for that. And that will take out the combi. And a Dwebble, which is um, one of the new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Which, um, they are both bug and rock type. But I'll just give Gatorade a bit of the experience. gonna get an Intimidate off since Dwebble's a physical attacker. And we're just gonna go for Bite. Whoa, we got a crit right there. Faint Attack I don't think will do that much because of the Intimidate. And we're gonna go for another Bite and that will take out the Dwebble. Aren't you too strong? Yes I am. Strongest trainer ever. So now we're going to go up here, and um, I'll keep Ryu, because I think, I believe this is the last trainer that we get to face in the gym. So anyway, we got another Dwebble right here. Which, um, for this thing, I think I will just, um, go to Shellblade. has Razor Shell, which is super effective against a Dwebble. Okay, so, we're just gonna go for the Razor Shell. Oh, we were so close to taking it down. But... Um, some of them actually have that sturdy ability, which pr is actually works like a focus sash sort of thing in this game, as before it worked like, um, um, before it worked like, it, like, negated one at knockout, mo one at KO moves, I think. So now it's this Swadloon, but I'm hoping it has Bug Bite, because then I can use a quick attack. And of course it will use Protect. I'm hoping that it has Bug Bite, so then I can use a Me first on it. So let's go for a Quick Attack. There we go, so I think it will use Bug Bite on me once again. So we're going to go for Me first. Ugh! Are you kidding me? So I think it's going to go for another Bug Bite. So we're going to go for me first. Oh man, are you kidding me? That will do nothing. So I think we'll go for Quick Attack. Go for one more quick attack, and really, are you kidding me? Do you have to use protect? Oh, whatever. Let's go for another quick attack and that. Ugh. But who cares? I'll finish it off with a force palm. 
so no need to worry. Yeah, Ryu gets a level up. And Shellblade also gets a level up. Your battling style is almost as artistic as Berg. So now we're gonna go up here. And let's see what's in what's up here. What? Oh, yeah, we have to go this way actually. And there we go, it's a full p it has lots of paint in it. But first, um, before battling Berg, first let me just heal up my team. So I think... Oh, sorry, that was a misclick. So I think we're gonna put up Bolt, maybe. Oh wait, first let me get the experience share. And I think we're gonna give that experience share to Bolt. And then I'll put Ryu back up front, because um, I'm going to see what Berg starts out with. Good work back there in the sewers. My bug-type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle with to battle you. I'd say my bug-type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on, let's brag a little. Dwebble's round little eyes are cute. It's re resilient and re reliable. My ace is Leovanny. It's really the best. I think it's so sweet how it makes clothes for other Pokemon out of leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all my Pokemon. Well now, let's get right to it. Shall we, Berg? Sure thing. Anyway, Berg. Ooh, I think he got trapped by Spider-Man, but he got out. He's gonna start out with a Swadloon, which is of course level 22. The Swadloon, I'm afraid that it, I think it has Bug Bite like it did, um, like the other Swadloons did. I'm gonna see. I'm, I don't know if it has Bug Bite or not. Lights, please. Time to show you what Bug type Pokemon are made of. But I don't know if it has Protect or not. It might not. Now let's go for Force Palm. I'm gonna try to paralyze it. Well, Force Palm's actually doing a good chunk there, so I think we'll now switch to Force Palms instead. So I don't think it has Bug Bite. Yeah, we get a crit with Force Palm right there. And Berg is gonna heal up. I know that. Um, let's go for another Force Palm. And oh, and also, guys, I should also mention this: Berg, back in Black and White, he used a, he used a Whirlipeed instead of a Swadloon and. The reason why they actually got rid of his Whirlipede is actually because Whirlipede is actually Roxy's main Pokemon in this game, so they don't want to have the other gym leaders and Elite Four members to have another, um, so then they didn't want um, the, any of the gym leaders to have another gym leader or Elite Four's main Pokemon, so that is actually the reason why they got rid of his um, Whirlipede. Come on, we just have a few more quick attacks to, to finish this thing off with. And one more quick attack, we'll take it out. The next Pokemon he's going to send out is going to be his Leovanny, which, um... Now I'll stay, because... Of course, um, Ryu resists this thing. Leovanny was actually a Pokemon I was about to use on my team, but actually the fire type that I am going to use on my team for um, this game right here is actually going to be my grass type, because it could learn energy ball. And me first really failed right there. I think I'm going to heal myself up right here. 
This thing is faster than me, so I'm not I won't even bother using me first. Oh my god, really? Do you have to get a crit? But well, let's go for quick attack. Oh Come on, just a few more quick attacks should take you down. Oh! Like a boss. So let's heal you up once again with the super potion. Let's try to paralyze it. Why not? With the force palm. Yeah! It gets paralyzed. And of course it has a citrus berry. But who cares, it might get some para hacks pretty soon. I don't know. Aw oh, man. So, um, I'll just go for quick attack, because it might not have bug bite. Yeah! It gets para hacks. Come on, just a few more quick attacks. Just a few more quick attacks will take you down. Man, this is the longest episode ever. This is going to, this will actually take forever to upload. Oh, 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 what now, Berg? What now? I survived by one HP. Cut. Okay. Well, let's go for a quick attack, which is going to finish you off. And that's his Leovanny. Get a crap load of XP for that. And Bold also gets a level up. And last up on his roster is going to be his Dwebble. Which I'll switch to Gatorade. To get off an Intimidate. Hmm, I might have a bad feeling about this. Could I be in trouble? Yeah, I think you are in trouble. Struggle bug. Uh oh! Because in Struggle Bug, um, I'll explain it more. It's a special base move, and Dwebble really isn't a special attacker. It's actually more of a. Oh! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But whatever, let's just go to Shell Blade. I just wanted to lower its attack. But we're gonna finish you off with a Razor Shell. And there we go. That is the Dwebble. Mmm, it's over. You're incredible. Ooh hoo. You are you are very strong indeed. I guess it's no surprise I lost. Here, take this in insect badge. I think it'll suit you. And then we get the insect badge. Which is our third badge. Oh, the insect badge suits you even better than I thought it would. Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you. And then he's also going to give us TM76, which contains Struggle Bug. Struggle Bug also lowers the special attack of the target that was damaged. I'm the best guy to tell you this. It's the little things that count. And Struggle Bug is actually a... Six, um, a tw 30 base power, special base bug type move. It looks like a weak move, but like he said, it also cuts um, the opponent's special attack after hitting. So, that's our third gym badge. And we have six more to go. Alright, so, I think I'll end it off right here. So next time, I'll do a little bit more training actually to Gatorade. So next time, we're going to be heading up to Route 4. And we might be doing, we might battle someone there, who knows. 
All right, I'll see you guys then.